scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time it's going to make you attain whatever stature that christ wants you to attain thank you one of the things you must receive in this conference is a true impartation of spiritual power results that show that you can go back home and say mommy i came back from a conference where did you go to you say i came some i left a soul but when i went to a conference i met a man i hear that in this family nobody rises but i have come as one sent i was mentored enough to know that the power of the holy spirit is not just for men of god and you stand and pass a decree to the heavens and things begin to shift and change by next Sunday it's your parents that will come with you to church listen listen let me tell you this you know why many people don't go to church their reasons are justified until the demonstration of the power of God proves otherwise they are tired of wasting their time Nobody lives what works. Nobody. It's not in the economy of men to live what works. By the time you sit for three hours, your spiritual life is changed. Your business shifts. Everything about your life changes. Why will you not come by 5.30 and wait? In the days of the generals, by 2 a.m., they would stand on the queue waiting for a 6 o'clock service. We need power. Genuine power. Genuine spiritual power. No revival. Please hear me. Let's stop flattering ourselves with these tiny miracles here that create controversy. We are not even sure whether it happened or not. We are talking of notable miracles, dimensions of the workings of the Spirit that even unbelievers will testify and say, I don't love their God, but this one is too spectacular for silence. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. Many of you heard the testimony. Now, it's not, it's not an encouragement to be lazy. But this is a pastor that came from my Duguri. And he came and then relocated and all of that. And because of resources, finances and all of that, um, they, he had to suspend. The wife was still schooling. And, oh, praise God, the light is back then. He had to suspend her schooling for one, was it one semester or one session, so that they could stabilize. And then now that God helped them, they were going to go back so that she would finish up. You, you get the whole idea now? And then he came for one of our meetings, I think with the wife or so. When everything was done, the meeting was over. This is a testimony. When they went back to her school, and then they wanted to now go and register, they saw her result with A's and B's. She's done. Yeah. 
not one of those, those nonsense stage manage things that people come and stand on stage and, and speak garbage. It's old wives' fables. Real miracles with signs. The man stood there. The woman stood there. What is this? Don't get used to your pain, oh. There are anointings designed to trivialize challenges. See, let me tell you this. There are men that have done business with God. This is not pride. There are men that God has vowed a vow with. They have died to themselves. Death has walked in them. Shalom brakatos kete brakata. Shikes kabaru zama has kabarun de keta. Ebre zato jamarus ke marutasia. Hallelujah. Please give us Psalm 66. Psalm 66. And verse 3. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Say unto God, how terrible are thy works. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. It takes power to deliver what is yours to arrive. It takes power to mentor a territory. To, to break the it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder look in two minutes someone just lift your voice and enough is enough that everything that does not subscribe to the power of God in your life that in this conference he must let you go please lift your voice in two minutes and pray reality of spiritual power miracles signs wonders not stage managed testimony please pray you came to church My life must move forward, breaking forth on the left and on the right by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shalades Kabaronda Shalabada. Pray this morning. Shala shala prada gada balada balada ba. Hello, give Madonna. Hello, give Madonna. Hallelujah. Please listen. Listen to me. When I was going to start ministry, I watched a documentary and Pat Robertson of CBN, 700 Club. He said when he was starting ministry, pastor, he asked the Lord of three things. He said, Lord, don't send me like this. Number one, give me wisdom. Number two, give me favor 
Number three, give me the anointing for signs and wonders. When I had it, I said, that's it. I went to God too in a fast. I said, don't send me like this. The people you are sending me to need real results. Don't send. I don't want to be a preacher fighting another man of God. Fight. No. Brand your impact with genuine signs. I prayed a prayer and I cried to God. I said, Lord, any meeting you send me to, that whoever comes to, whether he's outside or wherever, by that contact, shift them to dimensions that will surprise them. Listen to me. Please listen. I submit to you that as a man of God, if the power of the Holy Spirit is not evident in your life, there is a dimension of revival you cannot capture. Hallelujah. There must be a heavy investment. The last four rows, I'm seeing fire just coming down. The last four rows. The last four rows. The last four rows. Shelanda Bragodasiana. Please move. The last four rows. Eladu Shalabrande Kaparuska Dabash. Ekrado Zeneha Shalabrande Katos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bukola. Bukola. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing a name. Bukola. Bukola. Huh? No. The person is wearing blue. No, not you. A, like a head tie and a cloth. Matching cloth. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. A head tie and match. Please help them. Make. Um, are there ushers there? Please, so that we don't have. Who, um, this is what I'm. Who is that? What's your name? Bukola. Bukola. Bio. B A Y O. Not Dio. Bio. B now, like ball. B A Y O. B A Y O. B A Y O. Please, where is that gentleman? Bio. Something in your shirt you are wearing is like brown here, your hand. It's not the same color with what you are wearing. This is, I'm seeing something like that in a vision. I want to pray. Don't, please don't come out randomly, right? We are going to continue. One, two, three, four. Four miscarriages you've had. You've not had a child. Please, who is that? I don't know if you are here or someone... Help to coordinate them, please. Except God is not God. Whatever challenge came here with you, I stand by the God of heaven. He must let you go in this conflict. Um, Deborah Deborah I'm hearing a name Deborah Deborah 
Deborah, you are wearing a strange kind of weave on. Is it wig or weave on now? This lady's thing is like, is it purple? Like purple or something like that. Who is that? Verify. Just is her name Deborah? My dear, are you Deborah? God is about to turn your family around. Oh, I see what I saw now. That's what color is this? Blue. Blue. This is blue. Ladies, yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord wants to bring. Look at me. The month of August is a strange month of breakthrough for your family. Strange month of breakthrough for your family. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There is a gentleman now that will begin to prophesy. The hand of God will come strong. When that happens, please bring the gentleman. It's not something you can control. It's the power of God that will come on you. The Lord is asking me to speak. Just one minute and we'll sit down. Carry the gentleman and bring him, please. In the name of Jesus. Why is he by you? In the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you. I decree and declare. Sounds of victory. I'm hearing people laughing by the Spirit. No, no, I mean under the anointing. Strange laughter. Strange laughter by the Spirit. It's not something that is mechanical. Please bring that gentleman. When I'm done with you, you just go. Just shift. I just want to prophesy to you. Madam, this woman, lift your hand. I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on your head. Right now, I stretch my hands. Let that anointing come upon your life and shift you. That chain I'm seeing on your hand, I break that chain right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I break that chain right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Yeah. Hey. Is that true? Praise the Lord. Now, please listen, everyone. Play the keyboard for me. I've shared your pastor's burden. Um, this, this, this land, when he spoke about someone who was injured, I don't know whether the people are here who were injured because of the stampede yesterday. I know that there are crowds of people here. Um, I lead a very, very large ministry, and I know what it is and the pain when people are injured. And it is not something that I usually would do. But honestly, I discern that this is true. I'm calling on everybody following and everybody watching. Let's put our hands together. I will also participate. Let's put our hands together and see to it that by the grace of God, that this property is fully acquired by this ministry. Are we in agreement on this? So that, so that there can be an expansion and it can make room. I feel very pain that a number of people are locked up inside and outside there. And it is usually not my culture to do this boss. It is the way of the kingdom that every time the tabernacle is about to be built, the resources come from the people. So it is not unscriptural. It is true that people have been manipulated. It is true that people have siphoned resources to put in their pocket. And I continue to say that any man of God that deceives God's people, God will judge that person. That is true. 
I do not believe in manipulating people. A man of God's blessings should come from his obedience to the principles of the kingdom. Are we together? So it is, it is a very, very serious thing. And I know that, I don't know how, maybe this announcement has been made before, but I know there are people following online. There are ministries following online. There are businesses following online. I'm aware of, of a threshold amount that can and should be committed. Uh, I will not announce it because of the logistics around it, but it is very, very important. I know the property is in hundreds of millions and a lot of people should put resources down. Some of you, God has helped you. I know that there are many of us that God, you know, is still helping. We are coming up. Some of us, God has helped us. We have seen the faithfulness of God in our lives. And some of us here represent companies, represent businesses, represent ministries, represent organizations that are doing well are we together and i do not want this project to be a project where you sit down and say let the rich go and give money they are the ones that have money that philosophy is what keeps people down number two never do anything by force and coercion especially as it regards giving if there be a willing heart that's the system of the kingdom because every time you come by force and coercion you've already lost the blessing but number three never again say i don't have something to give it's not true everybody is a giver but your giving is directed towards your area of passion that's why you can drop 10 naira as offering and buy a shoe of hundred thousand it's not that you are broke is that where your treasure is that's where your heart is praise the lord i don't even stay in lagos but i i reckon with the fact that this is a move of god I, and and i'm standing to lend my integrity and to lend everything on this project to say let's put hands together pastor Dele is a man of god who loves god and i know sincerely i love him and his wife and it will be it will be unchristian to just come and see a project like this and all the team the people that work hard to make this thing this conference has been running for five days laboring in the spirit and building we have the last session tonight that i will not want you to miss for any reason because truly that will be a defining moment for you but right now as i just pause here um i really want to challenge us I don't know how this thing will be but I have everybody if you are a minister you can sow as a person you can sow as a ministry we have to put our hands together the account number is open is is on the screen there and you can do a transfer it's a sacrifice it's not a seed let me just say it up front it's a sacrifice and it's not a seed praise the Lord now let me let me say something um, if God put in your heart by his grace and you have the capacity to sow from a million naira and above please I would like you to see pastor I would like to at least pray for you because a million naira is a sacrifice and it's, it's not that I trivialize everybody's sacrifice, but um, someone should not commit a million naira. And then you look at the person and say, oh, God bless you. No, you should be able to encourage the person. Are we together now? There's nothing to hide. There's nothing to pretend. There's no games to play. This is true. I know that there are people here who are agreeing and saying, look, if we can have around more than the people here we have people following online and if everybody can say look i'm bringing a million two million five million ten million and all of that you can pray and all of that but we have to make this thing work we have to make this thing work so um there may not be time and i don't want us to go into the ceremony of now saying if you want to give a million and above you come out here but this is what will happen please listen and i don't want you to just get emotional and come out to make pledges that you cannot redeem 
and create the expectation of a ministry and then run away and change your line and do some of these dubious things. We are Christians. Praise the Lord. Let every man give as he has purposed in his heart. But also there are seasons when even your bread, you cast it upon the water. And the Bible says you will find it after many days. Praise the Lord. So you will, you will join me. I'm praying that at least all those who will be listening to this, this is my own target. I am praying that God will touch the heart of 200 people to bring the sacrifice of a millionaire around the world. This is my prayer. That God, and we are going to pray together. Praise the Lord. 200 people to bring the sacrifice of a millionaire. And I will be the first of them. Praise the Lord. Yes. It will be, it will be unfair. It will be unfair to make such a call and then stand. We as men of God must be examples. Praise the Lord. Sincerely. It's something that I prayed and I said, no, we have to be part of this. So this is me, number one. And we're trusting God that all the people that God is going to be speaking to, some are in Lagos, some listening, some will be listening to this maybe after this time. Please understand that the morale is not just to raise money as you are used to. Let me correct this very clearly. Because I know that there are ministries that don't have any project that is worthwhile, but just that obsession to continue to extract resources. Don't confuse what we're doing with some manipulation somewhere. This is a ministry of integrity. I'm a man of integrity myself. Praise the Lord. So, but this is a call that is necessary. And when it has to be uh, to something that is for our king, we must stand on a shame. Praise the Lord. No one is coerced. No one is manipulated. The ark of God was always designed to be carried upon the shoulders of men. So if there be a willing heart, as the Lord speaks to you, you probably may not be able to have a million naira, but 500,000, 200,000, 100,000, 50,000. Let there be something that when you see this building tomorrow, you will know that my seed played a role in someone's salvation. That as lives are being changed, you are not doing it just because you want to be blessed. First, you are doing it because you love the Lord. And it's an honor to be part of this revival that is coming. And then secondly, because he has so programmed in his system that every time we give, there is a system of multiplication that also comes. This is the correct theology of giving. Are we together now? So please, you are here and you know that God has put it in your heart. Even if you are online, online, and God is putting it in your heart, whether you are a member of this church or not, you can go ahead to call and, and then once you get in touch with Pastor Dele, um, he will give you the information. I promise that I will talk with you personally and I will pray with you and bless you. I really will do it. It's not some stage managed thing. So for those who have that capacity and God is granting you grace, you can talk to your loved ones about it. There is a worthy project that demands the heart of people who love God. And once that happens as we're done, Please, as pastor directs, I will be glad to talk with you in the office to pray and speak over your life. Is that all right? Can we rise and pray on this project? In one minute, lift your voice and say, Father, this land, we receive it and we receive the resources. This is the land that has blessed you. Many of you have received prophetic words. Is someone praying? I believe that by this call, a miracle is going to happen here. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare we possess this land. We possess this land. We possess this land. We are trusting you, O oh God, for over 200 people by the Spirit of God that you will touch to come in not by coercion, not by manipulation, according to the measure of the grace that you have provided for the sake of the house of God, not for personal aggrandizement, not to form the lust of the flesh, but to see Jesus lifted and to turn this place into an apostolic and a prophetic center of revival. We decree and declare right now, we first sow the seed of prayer 
we sow the seed of intercession and we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost we are willing givers we are contributors in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for everyone generally father we still believe you are the God that delivers you are the God that lifts you are the God that blesses you are Ebenezer I have shared with your people and one of the things we have learned about you is that you are a God of miracles your people have tabernacled here right from Wednesday Thursday Friday yesterday and into this morning they have made sacrifices of their time their resources hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you